Hello everybody. So the other day I was at Popular and Roblox Among Us Coco Melon Coloring Book. So today we are going to be taking a PSLE math paper. So what is PSLE? In Singapore, 12 year olds have to go through a national exam called PSLE, which is primary school leaving exams. I remember taking PSLE, it was Nothing much, I guess. I know that PSLE has criticism that like you shouldn't be putting a bunch of such young students through a very stressful national exam because like they basically calculate like all the four subjects you take, which is English, math, your mother tongue, and like sciences, and calculate a score according to a bell curve. I think it's a score from like I can't remember how low to like. 300 I think you use that score to like apply for schools you want to go to yeah there's, there's students out there who are really stressed about PSLE and uh, well no different from me I guess although it's been years since I last been in school I kind of wonder if I can do basic math anymore because um, yeah I can't read I remember when I was taking my PSLE I was I did have a bit of stress about it because like you know you gotta study hard yada 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 and for some reason, I was put into the best class, despite always being a B student in primary school. And being in the best class was really, really sad, I guess, for me. Because, like, I was one of the dumbest students there. I think, like, I was the dumbest there. And, um, top classes are brutal, I guess. People there are so mean. I remember my teacher was, like, my teacher asked everyone to, like, tell her what score you want goal score for PSLE and like people were putting 240, 250, 260s and like I put 220 and uh, I think she ended up showing the list to everyone on the projector like at the end of it and then like I could hear girls behind me whispering oh do you see Jolene she only put 220 that's so low basically they shamed anyone who was like dumb I guess like not academically smart <laughs> like shut up yo you 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 pricks I don't have tuition unlike you guys honestly going to the top class is so traumatic for me for secondary school I decided to go to the worst class instead <laughs> alright so let's do the very first paper I guess I wonder what people in my school are doing right now like all my class primary school classmates. Oh well, who knows? I remember studying really hard for math and all the other stuff in secondary school as well. Not like I ended up needing math, I guess. Yeah, I haven't touched math in so long. I think I will actually not do well on this. I hope to get over 70% on this paper. <laughs> Alright, let's start. I already don't know how to do the first question. What the heck is this? <laughs> What? Oh man. Oh man. Am I dumb or something? I'm really lost. If you can divide this group into like two groups, three groups, four groups and six group groups with this number of students in each group, you could technically flip it over and have 18 groups of two people. So this means that whatever's in here could be just times two. But there's no eight ways here. Oh man. Oh my. Guys, what in the world is this question? Is this the stuff that like... Uh, I guess I can see how my parents couldn't teach me like math as, at all when I was in like primary school and I was left on my own. There was also that PSLE question that like got pretty infamous online at one point. It's that, that one area question. Yeah, PSLE math is wild. <laughs> Would it be wrong to assume that this is 25% because this is like a right angled triangle? So it's a quarter of the entire pie, right? <laughs> I don't know, math papers in secondary school we say take the diagrams with a grain of salt, you know, that kind of thing. Like, don't measure them because they're not accurate. Man, taking a paper at like 6 o'clock is a bad idea, I need to eat dinner. Oh boy, it's section P time! I think in primary school you're not allowed to use a calculator until section C if I'm not wrong. So I'm not gonna use a calculator for this part. Actually, real quick, I'm already stuck on the first question. Why in the world is this line in the middle here mean? It usually you put a line when like things are equal, right? What what does this mean? I'm certain I'm going to fail this paper. I feel like some of the things primary school tests is kind of redundant, isn't it? Like on my YouTube studio, I see graphs a lot. I don't need to calculate them myself. I know the point of primary school is to like 
check and teach your kid to be like a basic functional human, like basic maths and stuff like that. But I don't know, the trick questions and stuff, it's just, does it really feel needed? I guess they're testing if like your kid is has like, I don't know, math spatial awareness or something, I don't know. Is this a trick question? I don't like how primary school does this a lot. Like, the container weighed 879 grams when it was two-fifths filled with flour. The flour weighed 386 grams. So if you want to find the weight of the container, you just take away the weight of the flour, right? Why did they give me how much it was filled with flour? What? Why does any of this matter? In what kind of situation would you ever need this? Really? Oh Jesus, I can't do the second question either. What? Uh, what is this kind of... This is, this is, yeah, problem solving. Uh... I have no idea how to do this. I'm running out of time. There's no way I can figure this out. Boy, three questions left and I haven't finished this one or this one. There is no way I can finish this. Okay, there's so many questions that I don't know. There's only a minute left. Well, that's it. I have no idea how to do this. All right, time to mark the paper. This is going to be a disaster. <laughs> All right, time for the long awaited results. I'm done. I got a 60! Yay! <laughs> oh, bruh. I'm not good at math. I'm not good at problem solving either. I don't think I'm a very smart person. <laughs> I think secondary school math is easier than this. It was a lot less tricky. <laughs> for e-math at least. But hey! Damn, I'm dumb. <laughs> to be honest, I think in the end of the day, don't feel bad if your math scores are bad. Yeah, I'm just trying to cope because like, I feel like a lot of adults probably can't really do the PSI math paper right now even. A little bit ironic. These are the same people that push all these kids to do better, get those A's, get those perfect scores. Man, uh, how, how, how did I even do these things when I was 12? Actually, I don't even think I was able to do them. I remember like, I, I couldn't do a couple of questions either too in my PSI math paper at the time. I got a B for math. <laughs> And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you guys got some entertainment out of this. And um, man, how are you guys in math doing? <laughs> I'm glad I don't touch it anymore.